right, we got the dang floor installed. Uh, that was a lot of work, but uh, it's a wrap on the floor. Check it out. Boom! There goes the floor. It's that Coco Bolo look. Oh, shit. to down for bunch of bull check this shit out but luckily I saw the storm coming and uh, I quickly laid out my old rug laid it on the ground over here laid down my reflectix for the floor insulation and literally cut it out super quick cut it out as fast as I could and then laid it down in the van uh, as soon as I got it in the van we're looking at a downpour but I've my tools and shit kind of got a little wet I'm a little bit bummed I moved it all real quick it's just because I thought it was safe but it was turns out it was in the line of fire and I was in the van custom fitting this reflectix floor but let's go take a quick gander at this bad boy it's honestly been kind of fun just working in the van in the rain it's kind of cozy it started to give me a little bit of an idea a little fantasizing about what it would be like in here with so there it is there's the reflectix floor a little radiant deflector what that is so see if it does anything i don't know most people put it on their floor so i'm gonna do it but yeah we're looking clean in here i got finally got everything out which was just a way more of a pain than i thought it would be to be honest with you like it's just a nightmare like i, I couldn't get these freaking bolts out that held in a couple of the seat um brackets so i had to grind like take my grinder and grind the torx head um screw so that's a round screw the torx kept stripping out grind it into a nut so that i can use a fucking pipe wrench to get that shit out i mean it took all my strength and took days but now sort of the fun part, you know, as soon as I got the stuff out, I cleaned it up. I cleaned all the dirt out of here and all the crap on the walls and whatnot. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty, pretty badass. I mean, I'm starting to get a feel for what it's going to be like in here. And it's going to be sick. All right, Naveen out. What up, what up? Quick update. Day, I think it's day five of me working on this fucking thing. But I uh, decided that I'm going to return this insulation this is inch and a half really rigid and it's really thick and i was already having some concerns about it because as you can see the van has a curvature and i'm worried that it's just going to be a pain in the ass trying to fit that into this space so i was over at home depot and noticed these a slightly different type of uh, insulation poly board or whatever this obviously has a little more flex to it I'm gonna do the floor with this little one so I grabbed these they're way cheaper as well and that's another thing I wanted to mention that I'm trying to only spend 500 bucks on the interior so I've seen, I've seen how far I can go with the 500 um if i take these if i take the other ones back it's gonna give me 70 bucks because those things were freaking expensive these things right here there's only 30 bucks for all three of them so that frees up another 40 bucks i'm probably sitting at like i don't know around 400 right now so 
it would be good to get that money and then I can do my LED strip lights with the 70 bucks definitely that would definitely cover it um, so yeah we're gonna I'm running around right now it kind of sucks eating into my work time but hey man trying to do this thing right you know try not to trying to do it right you know take a little pride in this thing um, yeah I'm gonna make some more videos maybe some time lapses of uh, me installing the floor I was gonna try to get the plywood cut. I'm gonna attempt to stain it and use a sealant and see how that looks compared to doing a the tiled sort of final floor. So see how it goes. Something uh, that I didn't mention before I stained the panels was I did use a power sander over here Blow. to sand the fuckers, get them nice and smooth. Well, as smooth as possible. Like I said, it is plywood, so it's not, it's just not a smooth, they're 20 bucks a sheet, you know? But here, that eh, might be not a good angle. There's the finished. See this? Yeah, those look really dark, so never mind. We're not doing that. Uh, well, there's one of them in van. Looks pretty, I mean, it's not professional. I get that. But I think it'll serve its purpose as just looking like a, you know, pretty cool floor. I, I think there's going to be furniture... There's going to be a bed, there's going to, you know, shelving, um, we're probably going to throw down a little rug or something, so we're not really going to even see a whole lot of the floor. Um, I was trying to just do something that was, looked somewhat decent. We'll see how it ends up. Um, I got a good feeling about it though. I'm, ha I'm happy with how it came out, considering what I'm working with here. So this is where we're at, and uh, yeah, I think I might wrap for the day. Come on back tomorrow and fucking try. I want to get this floor finished, and my goal would be for the floor to be totally done tomorrow. That'd be awesome. All right. All right. Well, I said I was gonna wrap up last night. I stayed up really late and went ahead and did the insulation strips on the floor of the van. Put down some little strips of insulation in between. Uh, there's like a little indentation. Filled, cut and filled that with insulation and then I finished uh, doing the polyurethane on the floor panels. They look pretty dope. Here they are. Cuts. Woke up this morning. There was, and I, they were outside. There was a little bit of mist, so I was kind of bummed about that. But it turned out to not really matter. So what I'm doing now, right before I lay these panels down, is I'm putting the uh, reflectix directly on the panel instead of on the floor because I'm straight up tired of working on my hands and knees like bent over starting to kill me so I figured if I just glue it to the actual panel itself and then I'm cutting about a quarter three uh, about a quarter off for a little overlay it's working really well it's super easy working in the van freaking sucks so I don't know if this is as good a thing to do or whatever but I think it's gonna work I read some insulation is better than none, so 
Hey, it's not the most professional thing ever, but I think it'll be... I think it's going to be legit, and I think uh, we'll see what happens. I'll check in after I lay down these floor panels, baby. Woo! Check it out. Boom! There goes the floor. It's that Coco Bolo look. Oh, shit. So that was the bench I had originally made. And uh, I'm just leaving it in there for now. It's sort of a temporary bench. Because I think I'm going to have my brother weld me a pro metal bench. I do kind of like an L-shaped little love seat i don't know what you fucking call it but have that in the corner then you'll have your bunk here so you could sleep a couple people downstairs a couple people up on the bunk me and cheney obviously then have a nice lounge area all made out of metal bolted into the chassis i mean i could even put fucking seat belts in there if i wanted to have a fully legit straight party area but yeah there we go i think for now i made this little mock-up Stupid bench, I'll leave it in there, but, uh, yeah, a lot of ups and downs, uh, we'll see how it holds up, I've noticed the floor is sort of splitting in a couple spots, I mean, this is $20 a sheet, you know, I don't even know what kind of wood, just garbage, so, we'll see what happens, and also I noticed the finish got, I think maybe since it was out in that mist this morning, it got kind of weird here, and, anyway, it is what it is. It's probably going to get ruined, but I can always tile over it or replace it. Whatever. All right, I'm going to not do this for a while, a few days, take a break, and uh, do something else for a little bit. So I think I've been working on this for like a week. Anyway, there it is. Made an update in a couple days. Wanted to show show it off, show off where we're at. So here we go. Um, I've just finished the insulation, and I put part of the bed frame in. So there's some insulation all on the side wall here. My little makeshift stud that the birch panels will attach to. I've got part of the bed frame in right there. That's kind of one post. There'll be a post in the back and then there is all the insulation on the sidewall. Um, it, it's pretty crazy how much of a difference the insulation makes. Just, um, just when I was holding it up there to fit it, every time I would move it down I'd just feel this beam of heat. So that's pretty cool kind of seeing it in action but yeah here's where we're at right now I took a rug out of our room and just threw it down to kind of get a little vibe going uh, floor is doing all right it's split in a few spots as it is plywood but hey if it doesn't hold up I'll just put some vinyl tiles over it and that'll be totally cocoa so that's um that's my nickname for this van, Coco Bolo. So Coco. But uh, I just got some finish here to do the walls. It's gonna be gray cashmere. So I don't know, nickname might change over to cashmere. Let's see. Also got these cool finishing nails. They're brown, so they'll go good with the, uh, with the cashmere walls. I'm gonna cut a template right now to go on the sidewalls so I can 
cut out those birch panels, get them nailed on there, and uh, then it's just some little finishing touches from there and, you know, moving in, finishing my bench over here. Anyway, that's it for now. Peace. All right, so I've got the first panel stained and installed. It's the smaller side and it's honestly not gonna show very much and that's why I did that one first in case I screwed it up. But here it is, as you can see, get that out of the way. I think it turned out pretty slick, pretty cool. That's, uh, I'm liking that. I think it's really setting the tone, the vibe in this place. But uh, I got the big one cut out over there, um, doing another uh, coat of stain. The original, that gray, gray cashmere that I got um, didn't, it didn't really look that great on its own. So I went back and got white for the, so I do a coat of white for the base, then I do the gray and it's got, it's kind of hard to see right now, but, um, it's just got some really cool characteristics and it brings out purple and it sort of tones down the red, uh, the gray, when I just put the gray directly on, I have a panel over here, a small one that I did first, little test. When I put it directly on the, the birch with no white base first, it just looked really red. And I don't know, it just kind of wasn't meeting the vibe. So yeah, I had to go back and I do that white. And then you can see over there that uh, this other one, it just looks so much cooler. It's got like such a dreamy vibe to it. And I think it ties in the gray and the floor a little bit better. So yeah, uh, cut out this big one here or most of it. So it'll be, it stops there and there. And then there'll be a second one underneath here, but this is all going to be underneath the bunk anyway. So yeah, I'm going to get that thing. Um, I'm going to do another coat of the white because this one turned out, this other one turned out a little uneven. Uh, I only did one coat of the white stain and then I put the gray directly on that and it's sort of splotchy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do this white stain here and then uh, pop this bad boy in there. Mm -hmm.